Most people think you can't keep characters consistent in Sora 2, but after spending weeks testing and trying prompts, I found a method that actually works. In this video, I'll show you how to write prompts that lock in your character's look across every scene, and it only takes 5 minutes. Once you've got this down, you can drop your character anywhere you like, and they'll look the same every time. Before we get started, there's something important to mention. Sora 2 doesn't have any built-in character memory or consistency feature. If you just make scenes normally, your character will keep changing. But I figured out a way around this, and it all comes down to how how you build what I call a core prompt. A core prompt is like the DNA of your character. It includes their look, voice, facial features, and other details. By using the same core prompt across different scenes, you can keep your character consistent from one video to the next. We'll be doing this whole process in OpenArt. OpenArt is an all-in-one AI creation tool with tons of models, including Sora 2. Instead of having multiple subscriptions through different platforms, you can generate images, create videos, edit everything, and maintain consistent characters all within a single workspace. If you want to try this, Yourself, I've left a link for open art in the description below. Before we build our core prompt, I need to explain something that a lot of people mess up. At first, image to video sounds like the better option since you upload a photo of your character and the AI animates it. But in reality, text to video is way more powerful and gives you better results almost every time. When you use text to video, the AI has full creative control and it follows your core prompt to the fullest. This is how you get shots that actually look cinematic. Compare that to image to video. It works well for scenes with minimal movement, but when it comes to generating dynamic high motion scenes, you should always go with text to video because it consistently delivers way better results. I tested this extensively. When I tried to generate a mercenary using only text prompts, it was almost perfect. The only issue was that his appearance wasn't accurate 100% of the time, so I switched to image to video with reference images. The visuals looked better, but I lost all the movement and voice features that make videos actually interesting. That's why, whenever you can, you should use text to video. It almost always gives a better result than image to video, and that's exactly exactly what the core prompt method is made for. Now, a lot of people think that creating this kind of prompt is really hard, but in the next step, I'll show you how to do it in almost zero time using nothing but a prompt box and ChatGPT. To get the best possible result, we first need to decide on the final outcome. In this case, it's going to be a four scene video featuring a consistent character, and the character I've chosen is a mercenary. You can do this with any character you want, but if you're struggling to come up with a character or a scene structure, you can just ask ChatGPT. By typing, give me a structured video idea using a consistent character for Sora 2, it will give you a pretty decent starting point. Once we have the basic structure, the next step is defining the key traits of the character. For the mercenary, I'm using this specific version, and to describe him accurately, I use a structured prompt that I've created. You can always come back to it since I've left it in the description below. Here's what you'll paste into ChatGPT. I'm working on a video using Sora 2, and I want to create a consistent character based on the image I've attached. I need you to write a very detailed core prompt for me that describes only the appearance, the voice, and the camera setting. This will be reused across multiple different scene prompts, so don't include any pose or action. Just describe how the character looks in the image, how their voice sounds, and what camera settings would keep the visuals consistent every time. Structure it like this. Character appearance, describe the face, outfit, proportions, colors, and overall style in as much detail as possible. Voice, describe the tone, pitch, emotion, delivery, and atmosphere of the voice as if it were being recorded. Camera settings, briefly describe the lens, aperture, lighting, color grading, and framing style for consistency consistent cinematic output. Only focus on the character, not what they're doing. Be as specific as possible. Just paste it into ChatGPT along with your image, and it will give you a detailed character description. When you're done, you'll get a very detailed prompt that outlines all the main features of your character, how they look, sound, and more. The next step is creating the actual structure of the prompt we'll use to generate our four scenes. The way this prompt is set up is pretty straightforward. It includes a section to insert your character details, a space for your scene description, where you describe what you want to happen in that specific scene and an optional voice line. The voice line isn't necessary, but it's a nice touch and can make your scene feel more professional. To build this, I prepared a prompt you can use. Feel free to pause and read it. Once you have the prompt structure ready, you can either fill it out yourself by describing the scene you have in mind, or if you use the chat prompt to generate your scenes earlier, you already have everything you need. For the voice line, it doesn't have to be anything complicated. Just write out what you want the character to say and when, and that's it. You now have a complete script. The next step is to put it to the test in Sora 2 and see if your character actually stays consistent across scenes. Once you're on open art, look to the left hand side where you'll see a bunch of options. What you want to click on is video. After that, you'll be taken to the workspace for video creation. Now, remember to choose text to video, like I said, from the options on the left. Then, select your model from the drop down menu. There are a few options, but the one we want is Sora 2. First, pick your setting. Open art also has the fast model for video, which uses fewer credits, but the quality is a bit lower. I'm sticking with the pro one for better quality, but the fast one works pretty well. Once 
Once that's set, your workspace is ready. In OpenArt, the prompt box doesn't clear after you create something, so you can paste your core prompt once and it'll stay there. For each new scene, you just add the scene description. For my first scene, I'm going with the mercenary at a weapons depot. I'll paste in my character prompt and click create. Now that the video has finished generating, we need something to compare it against before we take a look. For the second scene, I'm going with the mercenary at a supply exchange. I just copy my second prompt, paste it in the same box and hit create using the same settings I already saved in open art. Starting with the first video, the mercenaries at a weapons depot. Preparation is the calm before the storm. The quality looks pretty good. He's checking equipment, the depot feels realistic, and you can clearly tell it's him. Now for the second scene, you can tell right away that it's the same character. Supplies look good. Should last us through the next run. The voice lines might feel a bit off, but the character stays consistent. And considering Sora 2 doesn't remember characters automatically, this turned out surprisingly solid. Okay, so now that we're done with scenes 1 and 2, I'm going to go ahead and create scenes 3 and 4 as well. For scene 3, I want to do something a bit different. I'm going with the mercenary hearing distant gunfire, then turning to look directly at the camera, acknowledging the danger, which is something that adds tension to the scene. So I go back to my Google Doc, where I have all my scene prompts ready, and I copy the third scene description. For scene 4, I'm going with the mercenary sitting on a rooftop at sunset, cleaning his gear and looking out over the city. Back in open art, my character's core description is already there in the prompt box from what we just generated. So instead of copying it in again, I just swap out the scenes. Now that I have all the scenes ready, we can finally start putting everything together into one full video. This step is actually very simple. I will be using CapCut, but you can also use any other video editing tool. I will import all four of my mercenary scenes by dragging them onto the timeline in chronological order. First, the weapons depot scene then the supply exchange, then the camera acknowledgement, and finally the rooftop gear maintenance. The final result should look like a full day in the life of a mercenary. For the editing, you don't need to do anything crazy. Personally, I just add simple crossfade transitions between each scene to make them flow naturally into each other. For the audio, since each scene has its own generated voice line, I make sure the audio levels are consistent across all clips. And we're done. This only took two minutes, as it's basically just importing files and adding transitions. Let's take a look at the final result we've created Preparation is the calm before the storm. Supplies look good. Should last us through the next run. They're on us. Peace never lasts long in a place like this. watching the full video, it's actually really cool to see that his gear stays exactly the same throughout every scene. That's impressive, especially considering Sora 2 doesn't have any character consistency features. There are still some weird moments, but honestly, nothing major compared to what you can actually create. They're more about the limitations of the actual tools and not about prompting either way. That aside, this turned out to be a pretty good method for getting consistent characters across multiple scenes. Now, you know how to make consistent characters in Sora 2, and with open art, it's surprisingly easy to pull off. If you want to start making character-driven videos that look like something straight out of a movie, click the link in the description to sign up for open art. And I'll see you in the next one.